big old jack out there and just followed my lure from as far as I could cast all the way back to the boat. He just didn't seem like he was interested in it. Where'd he go? Big jack too. Kills me when the water is calm like this. You see every little ripple out there. There it is right there. With the water as calm as it was, I could see lots of activity and I could clearly see jacks on the surface. Normally they'd gobble up this lure, but today they just followed it around like a dog following its master, not interested in biting at all. As lethargic as they were, I started coming up with a crazy plan. I'll just wait to see if he comes past the light. <laughs> if he does, I'll just scoop him up with the net. Okay, the sun has gone down and I have seen some jacks around here, but again, they're not feeding. So we're gonna have to figure out a different way to catch them. Hello, Mr. Jack. That's where these fish are too cold. They're like dopey. Like I saw something recently about um, lizards that were so cold that they just sit there like they're paralyzed by the cold. I've heard that happens to turtles too. Seems like it happens to jacks also. Look at that. How crazy. Okay, since he doesn't want to take any bait, I'm running over here in the dark. <laughs> okay. okay right, right. <laughs> Is he there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, hey. <laughs> there you go. Hey, what's up there, buddy? <laughs> That's how we fish in the winter time for jacks. No rods, no reels. Go be free. You're lucky I'm not in the mood to fillet you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Following day, I saw some more fish swimming around very lazily, uncharacteristic of their normal behavior. The cold was definitely affecting this fish. The question I asked myself was, could I net them during the day? Or was I only successful at night because they were unable to see me? I was determined to find out. There's a big jack. Holy moly. <laughs> Still got a little life in you, huh, fella? That is a big fish. Amazing. Hard to tell if he's got a fever or not, <laughs> or that he's cold. It looks like he's already uh, been through the ringer. Funny thing is I've seen a lot of these fish out there that are just swimming in circles or dead. So for everybody who thinks that we're not suffering here from the cold in Florida, there's your proof.
Well, I released that Jack back to the water and he seemed like he was unfazed by his little uh, photo shoot there. But if this cold weather persists, like it was 27 degrees when I woke up this morning, uh, well then, uh, more fish like that are gonna wind up coming by sideways or upside down. And if you see fish out there, just remember that they're still regulated. So if it were a snook or a redfish, you might not wanna just scoop them up. Jacks, well, nobody seems to care about jacks. I care about jacks. <laughs> well, and uh, if you care about having more content, more fishing stuff, well, uh, you might have to wait just a little bit until it warms up because I don't like the cold weather. However, my friend Andy, who was here from Australia recently, him and I went out and he got some pretty great footage of that. So if you want to see more videos with me, check out the link in the description below of Andy's episode starring yours truly. And if you like that kind of stuff, give him a subscribe. This way you'll have stuff to watch until I make another video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.